Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We would like to introduce your listeners to the foundation of the vocationist spirituality and how Father Justin developed this complex spirituality that is kind of a synthesis of all spiritualities. To the question of the Catechism, why did God create me? The Catechism answers, God created me to know, love, and serve Him in this life and enjoy Him eternally in the other life. Father Justin says that's an excellent answer, beautiful, simple, understandable. However, we prefer another answer. He says, to the question, why did God create me? I prefer to answer, God created me to be a personal, loving, exclusive relationship of love with God. And that responds to the basic idea of religion. Religion has the same root and meaning of the word relation or relationship. So religion for us is relationship with God, relationship with our fellow human beings. And this relationship with God starts with the very creation of man. Father Justin says that undoubtedly for him and for us vocationists, the first and the most important words of the Bible are the creating words of God. Let us make man in our own image and likeness. In these words, Father Justin sees the purpose of our life, and he says that we must enter into the divine plural. Let us make man. Who is making man? Let us. Who is this us? And naturally, theologically, we can say it is the blessed Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the old, the ancient prophet used to understand this, the celestial court of God. But Father Justin says that we have to enter and become part. Let us make man in our own image and likeness. God is asking practically that we join him in making us a better and more perfect image of God every day. And then he says that this becoming image and likeness of God is the essence of our spirituality. All the efforts of our devotions, of our penances, of our good deeds is to make us better image of God the Father, of God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Naturally, if, it, if our relationship with God is a relation, means has to be something permanent. Because a casual encounter, having some vague information about the person, does not cons make a relationship. A relationship is something that has to be mutual and has to be permanent. And so we are not unilaterally looking up to God, God is looking to us, we are looking to Him. We are elevating ourselves to Him, He's coming down to us. Without this reciprocity, there is not, no relationship. And so God is not seen as the faraway God, the distant God, but the God with us. When I entered the vocationary of Pianura in 1953, the first word I learned from Father Justin was the word indwelling. God indwelling within me, God present in me. 
I being the temple of the Holy Spirit. And with that, one develops the idea of the importance and the sacredness of the human being. Not only because it's image and likeness of God, but because it's the indwelling place of the Trinity. The Trinity finds its throne, its joy, its resting place in a loving soul, in the essence of our souls. And then it develops the types of relationship. As human beings, we have many relationships, like a child to a parent, a student to a teacher, a soldier to his commander, uh, a professional to a learner, a, a servant to a master, a friend, a brother, sister, child, spouse, or mother. There are, and each relationship is unique. Uh, there is not one cliche that we prepare and say we apply it and gives you the way to relate with God. Each one of us has to relate to God in his own personal, unique way. And it develops as we grow in being image and likeness of God that we have to reach the highest forms of relationship possible to human being. And to the most important, sacred, relationships that the human being can tend to and can experience in his life is that of being a child of God, as being a spouse or as being a mother. And so it tells us that our aim is to develop in each one of us, first, the relationship of soul, daughter of God. Then that means relating to God as my father who provides for me, who is there to defend me, to protect me, to guide me, to teach me, and to be a living example, a living constant giver of himself to me. And that's the image we want to have of God the Father. Then as people grow and have relationship of friendship, classmates, etc., then they tend to a deeper relationship, the relationship of soul spouse. And it is when two people become one. And naturally the relationship of soul spouse is the peculiar characteristic of Blessed Father Justin, who says that not only particular or special saints enjoy this relationship, but he feels that the relationship of soul spouse of God is a universal vocation. Each and every one of us is called to be one with God. And so I become one with God. And this is God prayed, Jesus Christ prayed, Father, that they all may be one as you and I are one. And this unity, uh, this most consummated union with God is found in the relationship of soul spouse of God. And then the relationship of soul, mother of God, means treating Jesus as a mother treats her child. So doing whatever Jesus needs. And this relationship of soul spouse of Jesus Christ is mainly in the soul through catechesis, through the administration of the sacraments, uh, through providing love, care, and, and assistance by dedicating ourselves to the decoration of the church, by putting the flowers on the altar, the sacred linen, all maternal attentions that we use toward Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and through the souls.